Well, welcome to the an update on the C Sharp and Visual Studio for Alexa skills. I'm going to be using Visual Studio 2019. That's the currently available one. 2022 should be available soon. I'm going to do this in two videos. Uh, first of all, I'll just tell you, show you how to set up uh, using Visual Studio and uh, the C Sharp and the uh, AWS Toolkit for it. And then in the second video, I'll get a, um, a skill up and running. So I'll make all these notes available to you. And the first thing you have to do is obviously install Visual Studio 2019. You should be able to do that. You search for it and install it. To add the Alexa Studio, um, Alexa Skills bits, you need to add the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. And that's available in this link here. Um, you download the installer and then you click on the installer and that installs. Just uh, check it's OK when you asked and it will install the Visual Studio Toolbox, AWS Toolbox for Visual Studio. OK, when that's done, you can start Visual Studio 2019 and this is the screen you'll get. So now what you can do is you can create a new project. So if we look at this and we create a new project, You'll see that you can search for particular templates here. It will show some recent project templates and also a list of all the templates you can use. So for some reason, the most recent ones are installed or at the bottom here. So this has been installed for you when you add that uh, toolkit. Now, there's two of these. There's an AWS Lambda project and, and the same with tests or something. I don't know what the difference is. We'll just choose this one and click Next. Now, if this is the first time you've done this, you'll need to configure your project. In other words, a, well, you need to do that anyway, but you'll also have to set up your credentials. So, so we'll give the project a name. Let's call it Hello John. And we'll uh, eventually just create a skill that will just ask for the user's name and uh, repeat the name where you want the location and create it. So while that's creating, I will start an empty function and finish. So that's while that's creating the project. I'll just go through the uh, steps you have to do if you've not done this before and you have to create, set up some AWS credentials. What you'll be doing is you'll be uploading your C Sharp code to the Amazon web servers. So they'll need to know that you where, where it's going to load and that you're a valid user. So what you need to do is if you look at this getting started screen that will come up, there's um, an ID and a secret key, an access ID and a secret key that you need. So, of course, to do this, you'll need an AWS account. I've talked about that in other videos. Um, I'm using US East, even though I'm in the UK. Um, so you need to set up your credentials. To do that, you need to go to the Identity and Access Management page in the console. You can add a new user, add a user. And when you add the user, you need to add programmatic, programmatic access. So there's a tick box for that here. And then you attach some administrator or power user policy to the user. Obviously, you only read and write uh, uh, commands to be able to do that. When you click next and then review, what you get is you'll get a screen here, which will show you the access key ID and the secret access key. You need to copy and paste those. And then what you do is you paste those back into these two boxes here. And then you can click and save and you can carry on and create your programs. If you've done this before, you can't remember where you might, you might, they might be saved in username.aws credentials on your PC or whatever you're using. Um, you'll also see that it mentions this default JSON, which has got a list of um, Basically, where things are kept. Uh, let me just uh, view. I'll just zoom in on that, and you can see, see that a bit better than this. So.
So you can see that you've got your profile, the region, configuration, um, and other things that you'll set up when you upload the program. These will be the defaults that are set for you. Um, so when you upload your Lambda function, you'll see this screen and that relates to this screen here as well. So, OK, so Amazon, so if you rename the assembly namespace class or function, you can change them there, but we'll just create a new one. OK, then that's about it, really, because what we can do now is you should have your program up and running. You should have, if you double click the function code, you should have some basic code here, which we'll start looking at in the next video. So I'll pick up the video from here and we'll put some uh, skill code in here, some Lambda code in here, some C-sharp code in here and upload it. So we'll stop there and see you in the next video.